Man, I could really go for a snack right now. You said it, Muggsy. I don't even know what we go eat, though. Well, I'm sure Elder Kettle's got something around this old house. Ugh. Come on, boys. I'll go ask him if he's got some sort of treat. Oh, kids! <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got something for you. Chala said that you all wanted some kind of a little treat. Oh, boy, do we! I love treats! Well, I do have one little titsy little morsel for you. Hold on, let me go get it. <gasps> wow, Chalice, I can't believe you convinced them. What can I say? I'm the master of convincing. I hope it's something delicious and scrumptious and sugary and delicious and delicious and, and, and etc. It's a delicious treat that can't be beat. White bread. Bread? We asked for a treat and you got us bread! Is it now the kids are into these days? Listen, kids, bread is a luxury. Bread is delicious. I love bread. You just you could just take a piece of bread and you'll be chewing on that thing for at least 20 minutes. Plus, it's very filling. Uh, Elder Kettle, when I asked for a treat, I didn't really have bread on my mind. Ah, uh, no bread? Well, well, kids, I'm sorry. I don't really got nothing else. Sweetest thing in the house I got is bread. And it's delicious. You sure don't want any? Mmm. Nah, I'm good. Yeah, sorry, Elder Kettle. I think we're gonna skimp out on the bread. Well, fine. If you all want my delicious, delicious bread, I'll just go eat it over here in the corner. I and mean, you guys just don't get anything, I guess. Ugh, nice going, Chalice. Wait, hey, that's not my fault. Just because your uncle doesn't understand the modern definition of a tree doesn't mean that it's my fault he got something stupid. Yeah, but now we don't have any more delicious treats to eat. I'm all bummed out. Now my mood's all ruined. Well, there's gotta be something we can do. I don't think anything could cheer me up unless it was a mountain full of candy. Well, that'd just be ridiculous. Hey, now that you mention it, Muggsy. Huh? Listen, Tuts. I heard a lot of the mystical, magical places back when I, you know, perooted my days as a ghost. And I heard a thing or two about a couple places around the neck of the woods you can find. A magical candy mountain with a princess that overrules all the candy on it. Pfft, what? That sounds like something you read out of a fairy tale storybook. I'll believe it when I see it. The magical candy mountain is real? In your dreams. I'm serious, Cuphead. There really is a magical candy mountain. Why don't you believe me? Cause that sounds like something that's way too good to be true. And if it's too good to be true, it usually isn't true. What happened to Mr. Fun and Optimistic? I'm optimistic about bad situations going good, not about good situations that don't exist. I'm an optimist, but I'm also a realist. Ugh, lame. So, Muggsy, how about since Cuphead doesn't believe it exists, me and you go searching for this candy mountain? Oh boy, would I? But, well, I mean, if you guys are gonna go, I mean, if you gonna go, with Oh, no, 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 Cuphead. You said it doesn't exist. So, since, you know, you don't want to, you know, waste your time going to go look for some magical candy mountain that doesn't exist, then you can just stay here, you know? Might as well kick up a telly, you know? Kick back, take a nap, you know? Not like you want to do anything fun or exciting or adventurous today. Uh, well, you know, I'm having a bit of a change of heart, you know? I just want to accompany my brother and my best friend on uh, this sort of adventure, you know? It's, uh, it's, 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 it's dangerous out there, you know? A couple paces around the neck of the woods, you can run into wolves or, or beavers or, or worse. Woodpeckers. What's so bad about woodpeckers? Well, woodpecker ain't got no wood to peck. Just saying, it's gonna peck your face. Yeah, I don't think that happens. Oh, you'll see. When the woodpeckers get to your face, You'll see that old Cuphead was right about him. Okay, well, me and Mugman are gonna go on an adventure. If you wanna come follow us, then, uh... We have to catch us first! Ah, but guys! Screw them! If I'm fine by, right here by myself, you know? I'm not gonna find some magical candy mountain with delicious syrup waterfalls and gumdrop paths and frosting-flavored snow tops and... and... Heck with it, guys! Wait up! What? Um, Mugman, I'm kind of struggling here to find this place. Mugman? Ah! Uh, yeah, me too. Hey, what's that over there? Huh? 
All right, come on. Oh, my man, look! Wow! It's the candy mountain! And it's all pink and stuff. Do you think the princess lives up there? Not a doubt in my mind. Oh boy, I'm so excited! Let's go, Muggsy! Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh. Wow! The whole top is covered in frosting. Oh, it's so tasty. Oh, you're right, Muggsy. This stuff is yummy. Man, I never thought the ground would be edible. Oh, there's a little bit of yellow frosting over here, too. Hmm. Huh. That tasted kind of funny. Yeah, it must have just been a weird batch. Well, time to frolic around in the candy fields! Whee! La 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 Aw oh, man, Cuphead's missing out on so much fun right now! Whippy! Ah! Uh. Oh, so many skunks, and snakes, and spiders, and all they a lot of cockroaches. Huh? Oh my stars. Candy Mountain. Well, no time like the present. Uh, uh. Oh, it tastes like frosting. Ah, oh, it's everything I ever dreamed of. I can't let Muggsy and Chalice know I'm here. Then they're gonna think I'm some kind of two-faced liar. I'm gonna have to do this stealthily. Yeah. Stealthily. <laughs> Halt! Huh? What's that? Greetings! We are the cupcakes of the round table! The cupcakes at a round table? What round table do you sit at? It's a figure of speech, idiot! Yeah, yeah! What's wrong with that guy? Oh, he's my hype man. His name is John. <laughs> yeah, yeah! Uh, alright, hi, John. So, uh, what do you all want? Uh, we're up here on this candy mountain and we're just, uh, eating some delicious, delicious candy. Well, we have been ordered by our great princess Baroness Von Bon Bon to execute you! Huh? Get him! <laughs> oh, he tasted really good. Mugman, you just ate that cupcake alive. My turn! What? <laughs> this was a great idea. No way! <laughs> No, no! Ah! Uh, Chalice, I think I'm done. This was really cool. Can't believe you're able to find a place like this. What? Done already? Come on, Muggsy! There's so much candy up here! It's like a fruit by the foot of gummy! Oh boy, the sugar rush is hitting me! Whee! Don't you think you're going a little overboard? Can't go overboard when you're in candy heaven! I'm gonna run down the mountain and run all the way back up! Chalice! Whatever. Mm, just a little more can't hurt. The white tastes like whipped cream. Almost stuck to the top! Oh, it's so tasty. Sweet, sweet candy freedom. Just can't let them know I'm coming up. Ah, dang it, now I gotta go all the way back up again. Damn you, Candy Mountain! I don't even know what hit me in the head. Ah, eh, whatever. I will climb you, and I will enjoy your delectable treats. Soon I will. <laughs> Whew, I don't even know what that was. You ready to go home now? Mm, come on, Mugman, there's still so much candy left. You don't seriously expect us to eat all of this, do you? As much as we basically can. Well, 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 we've got a candy eater on our hands, don't we? Huh? Uh, Chalice, look behind you. Huh? If it isn't the two little brats that took out my entire cupcake round table. <gasps> it's the candy princess who talked about it, a legend. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you're real. Your candy mountain's so cool. Hmm. 
the Candy Princess and the Legends. I do have a name, you know. It's Baroness Von Bonbon. And you two have made quite the mess of my Candy Mountain. Well, you know, the legend that I heard about, you know, said you were really nice and a really friendly princess and that you like sharing your candy. Uh-huh. Yeah, the legend said that. What are you implying? Oh, nothing, sweetheart. In fact... How about I give you some more? Ah! Oh, okay. If you love my candy so much, how about you take one of my everlasting sugar balls? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> that was so good, but oh my god, what? Mugman, do you see that over there? Ah! Uh, is that supposed to happen? Why, yes indeed, my boy. Ah, uh, Chalice, I think it's time we get out of here. Don't you want everlasting sweetness? <gasps> oh, what's happening? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Whoops, uh, too much been a bit overkill, but I shall survive. Uh. Survive? Well, 40,000 grams of sugar isn't going to do nothing to your body. It's time to get out of here! Hey! The frosting's sticky! Is it trying to work its way in my mouth? What? I thought you liked my candy! Not this much! I can see colors. <laughs> Mugman, I think I can see new colors. Wow. This is probably not good for you. Hey, what's going on, guys? <gasps> A third brat to make waste to my candy mountain. Oh, so you're that candy princess from the legends, eh? What are these two schmucks been up to? Oh, you know, simply trashing the foliage, destroying my land, eating my people. I fed that girl over there two of my, you know, uh, really complex sugar balls, and, uh, she doesn't seem to be taking it very well. <laughs> Ew, she threw up. Gee, maybe I was right about it says in this place. Tuppin, what are you even doing here? Oh, uh, listen, maybe we should just worry about that later. I gotta get you out of here. Hey, come back, we're not done yet. Uh, now I'm all good. Bye, come back here. <laughs> come on, you goobers. <laughs> Come on! We gotta go home! <sighs> what a darn shame. I'm sure they'll be back. No one can resist the Candy Mountain. <laughs> it does help that I put addictive chemicals in all my candy, but you know, they don't need to know that. <laughs> Ooh, you guys alright? Uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna eat a couple hours in the toilet after that one. Uh, I'm in pain. Cuphead, how'd you even know we were up there? Uh, well, I kinda thought back to my comment about how, you know, if something's too good to be true, then it's probably not true. And so I thought about it for a minute. I was like, well, if that candy mountain really does exist, then there's probably some kind of loophole or a catch that's gonna get them hurt. And I was like, well, I don't want my best friend and my brother to die, or something worse. You know, I, I don't want something bad to happen to you guys. So I was like, well, I gotta go after them now, because if I don't go after them, then they might get hurt. So I went after you guys, and then I found you just in the nick of time to where I could save you and bring you back home safe and sound. It definitely wasn't for any other reason. You got jealous and wanted to go see the Candy Mountain, did you? No! Eh, well, whatever the reason, thanks for saving us, Cuphead. I guess you're right. If something's too good to be true, it probably ain't true. Yep, that's the moral of today's story, folks. Uh, I'm just happy you didn't eat any of the candy cuphead, because I got such a bad stomach ache right now. Ugh, uh, me too. Yeah. Well, I mean, a little nibble wouldn't hurt, would it? Well, it was laced, so probably a little bit. Eh, I ain't too worried about it. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, hold on, wait, I need bathroom? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, bread diet for a few weeks. Ugh.